What's up, everybody? FSC Trucking. Well, we just unloaded that crate in the previous video that we picked up in Colorado and brought out over by Kenosha. Today we're starting to load up, uh, load up a video. Today we're starting to load up freight that's going down, making a new video. It's going to start off in Alabama and final in Florida. And you'll see here in a minute when we get over there to get loaded, we're, we still have the owner operator's step deck, the aluminum steel combo trailer from the last load we did. What happened there was we had an owner operator leased out with us who apparently got hurt after he already got loaded. So I just had to go to the yard, latch onto his trailer and take the load out to Denver, reload and then come back. I still have that trailer because we literally just got unloaded, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes ago. So I haven't gotten to the yard yet. So we're gonna pick up two of our stops with this trailer and then leave it at the yard. And that's where we're gonna have to take that stuff off the trailer and put it on mine. We're gonna have to then go, obviously, from the yard back to my shop to go pick up the trailer because I bobtailed down to the yard to pick up this trailer. That way my trailer was at my shop to get worked on. And so nickel dime crap I had to have Chris take care of for me while we were up there. The original plan was I was going to go through the long weekend, you know, Labor Day weekend, and then Tuesday, Chris and I were gonna go and work on the truck and the trailer and get everything done. But when I got the call Sunday night, but when I got the call Sunday, like late morning, it was like, uh, I called Chris and I'm like, hey, we need to get the truck rolling. I got the call Monday morning that the guy had gotten hurt and the dispatch would like me to repower the load if I could, which one I called Chris and got him going. He went and got new belts on Orwell, and then I left, and then this week while I was gone, he worked on the trailer. So now it's kind of a hog swap and crap show back and forth with getting these stops all on my trailer. But I have to be down here to pick them up, but I gotta be up there to get my trailer, so it's easy just to load it on this and then switch, switch trailers midstream. However, that really eats up the time. You just don't have a lot of time, so. We have to do it the way we're doing it. It's Friday, and we gotta get rolling well, tonight as well. First stop, the way I understand it, is Dothan, Alabama. Somewhere between here and Dothan, Alabama sits a YouTuber shop, James Pretty. Now, James Pretty is selling me a transmission, a spare transmission for Orwell. Hey, what's up, guys? Man, what a nice day it is today. Look at it. Just look at it. Got it. He's been selling off a lot of old equipment that he isn't using anymore. And uh, one of the things he had for sale was the 146-13 transmission, which is the Eaton Fuller, you know, 13 speed which is the exact transmission that I have in this that we had rebuilt probably two, three years ago. So now the answer is to go down there and get it. I want to have a rebuildable core that way I can drop it off at Badger, get it rebuilt. That way, if this transmission gives me any trouble, we can just simply swap it out. I don't have to have the truck down for a week or two 
while waiting on a transmission to get rebuilt. These transmissions are getting older and I don't know if uh, some companies have them in stock, rebuilt and just you know, do, the, do the swap around like they've done in the past. Um, this transmission is the original transmission that came with Orwell when I bought them. I believe it to be the original transmission to the truck. And I think when we rebuilt it, it was the first time the transmission was ever rebuilt. Either way, this one was done by Badger, and uh, we installed it. And we're happy with the we're happy with the job. It's worked out real well. Transmission's been pretty tough, and Lord knows we put you know we put a lot of snot through it. We haul the heavy stuff with it. We haul the light stuff with it. I, um, it doesn't seem to mind. Gotta bear in mind, Orwell isn't a heavy haul spec, but he is, he is built for, you know, 80,000, 90,000 plus pounds. And we have put over 90,000 between truck and trailer and load gross on this truck in the past. The heaviest one I ever done was, well, with a six axle, we had a, five, a three axle trailer. And uh, that was before I started filming for YouTube with this truck. But we did. Hello, Smokey Bear. I see you over there. Well, I think we're just under 100,000 pounds with that one. That was a stretch trailer. The trailer was heavy because it was a stretch. But it was a three-axle trailer, which is why we had it. The load was uh, 60, a little under 60,000. I don't even know if I can find a picture of that. It's just a tarp piece of equipment on a trailer. It really is impressive. But or that's the heaviest Orwell's ever hauled. truck can do. You know, five axle be a truck and trailer. Now this truck originally was a Keen Transport truck and if you know that trucking company, you know they do a lot of heavy haul and you know the same work we do here. As a matter of fact, Orwell's done this crap all its life. They even welded in a frame bridge. The frame actually not a very thick frame, but they welded in a frame bridge, and I'm, I'm told that's factory uh, between the two drive axles back there. So it's hard to find, but it is back there. I know, everybody's got that for. Everybody's got different definitions of uh, heavy haul. How heavy is heavy? This place we're picking up at, it's like, I think this is like the only legal truck route to get to it, too. Funny how that works. Been here one time before, and now here we are back again. So, you know how it goes. You go to one place, you go there a lot, and you don't see it again for years. Then you go there again and again and again. Or like now, you've never been there, and then the second time you've been there in a month.
are here. one up in Kohler, Wisconsin. Going to Kohler. Pick up another generator.
railroad crossing. I'm confused. Truck gate outbound. We were shipped. or outbound meaning we're leaving. Sure, outbound meant leaving or outbound like I'm taking crap out of here. Outbound taking stuff out of here, but that's no longer part of us. We sold that. Ah, didn't see that on the sign. Yeah. All right, thank you. Have a great day. All right, I guess we got our answer. Outbound is like outbound, like take crap out of here, but they sold that so I, I okay Ugh. it doesn't really help me Apparently shipping is behind us to the left. It's the dash nine door, 604-9. They just said dock nine. I didn't really put two and two together. By the way, we gotta go over there. Back up to the dock, that's why dispatch said, yeah, you gotta take the step deck because they shove it right out the door onto the trailer, so. That's fine. So we're gonna get ahead and hit a dot door over here. Seven B. All right, that makes some sense. Because it's got the ramps. This trailer will work with them big ramps. I don't know where the uh, air ride valve is. You know, the load sensing valve. Oh, 
put it up there and find out. Nothing to the madness. That trailer will dump your bags anyway, so I set the brakes. back up. I thought you'd see the like and subscribe. I should have. But didn't I forgot. Truck and trailer released. Let's run it. Trailer will rise up as we creep along the yard. to the trailer that's why I have the uh, leaving the RPM up a little higher recover the air pressure quicker Dude, it stopped I can hear it not hissing no more the only thing I don't like about trailers when you set the parking brakes just dumps the airbag if you're really heavy back there it takes a while to recover and for that air system to come back up and give you a good charge a bunch of air
Like if I'm idling, I always just leave the air applied to the trailer. to go see that man so I was like alright we'll just go I certainly have no need to scale it two generators don't make it heavy that's for sure got on the interstate but then you go north to take the interstate south again which is kind of goofy no need for that gets us over to 57 and gets us down towards the yard. This little county road A will get us there. There's a big tall flagpole. I love it. <laughs> 